Groom Terror Facts. The new format where I'm gonna be talking about 10 funny or interesting things, mechanics, interactions about the game that some people might not always know. I hope you guys enjoy, let's get started. Fact number one. Flash bombs say, deal one damage to a random ally. But the damage of the flash bombs can actually stack if you hit multiple on one card. And that means they can deal damage to units with the tough keyword. Because flash bombs don't deal damage one by one. So for example, if your opponent draws a card and this card contains three flash bombs and it, all of them hit the unit with the tough keyword, it will actually deal two damage to them. You can attach Yumi on Yumi. So the way you're doing that is, you need first of all to attach Yumi on a random ally on the board, can be anything. Then you have to play one other's call and you need to hope that it will summon another Yumi on the board. So now there's one Yumi on the board and another ally that has Yumi attached on her. So what you're gonna do now is you play Sheresis and push the Yumi that's attached on the random ally to the other Yumi. And there you have a Yumi on a Yumi. It's interesting to know that if you attack with that Yumi, you're not gonna get a plus two progress on the level up, but you will, however, get plus two plus two on each round start. And you will hear her voice lines twice as much. Need a new shield, buddy? Are you any good at chin scratches? I go where you go! During the level up of Kale, when she like tries to fly into the air, she takes on a specific pose, which is a reference to her old League of Legends splash art. Very cool. Champion level ups count as transformation and therefore Chief Nakotak will grant any champion of the game plus one plus one and impact if they level up while he is on the board. If you look at the art of Suncoast, you might think to yourself, hmm, that boat seems familiar. And you are right, it actually is the boat of Jack, the King's Court. Seraphine is extremely addicted to coffee. You can see that on her level 1 splash out in Legends of Runeterra. There are in total 5 cups of coffee and 4 of them being empty. Some of you guys might remember the Go Hard meta. Yeah, good times. So anyway, pack your bags used to be one mana back in the day. One mana, deal five to all enemies and the enemy nexus. That was not really fun to play against, was it? Playing around a one mana card for the whole game. So they straight up increased the mana cost of that card by four. And that was the biggest nerf in the history of Legends of Runeterra. No other card in the game received such a hard nerf as pack your bags. But let's be real, it was needed and deserved. If you have a card, Prismatic, that generates other cards, this could literally be anything. Those other cards that got generated will also be Prismatic. So for example, if you take the Hauling Abyss and it generates you a, a level champion on round start, that champion will also be Prismatic. Even if your champion card normally is not prismatic. We all know that the best way to get new cards is through the weekly vault. And other than the daily missions, the best way to get XP is by just playing games, right? And as you all probably know, for the first three wins daily, you get bonus XP. 400 XP for the first win, 200 for the second win, and 100 for the third win. But did you know that the PvP XP, the daily bonus XP from PvP, is different to the Path of Champion XP? So that means you can get those bonuses twice a day if you win three PvP games and three PvE games for a total of 1400 bonus XP. Last fact, you can use HTML code to make deck names look fancy. You can use any color that you want, you can add keywords, region logos and a few other things. There's a website that I will link down in the description below that lets you preview uh, how it would look like and then you just simply need to copy the code, paste it into the deck name thingy and there you go, you have a fancy looking deck name. Thank you so much for watching this new format called Runeterra Effect. 
If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button since it helps me out as a content creator to keep doing what I love. And if you enjoy this new format, make sure to hit that like button so I can see that you guys enjoy it. And make sure to put the comment down below and tell me which fact you actually didn't know about. Because I'm really curious about it, if it really helps people. And if you want to help me uh, out doing this more consistent, make sure to join my Discord server because we have a special chat there called Root Terror Facts. And if you have a fact that not many people might know, that you think would fit in this format, make sure to post it there and I might add it into the next video. And I will obviously also credit the person that told me this fact. Thanks again so much for watching. See you in the next one. Happy Harolds. <laughs>